Okay, so I've got a pre-production camera, a limited amount of zoom, I can't leave home, and I've got to take a photo of wildlife today. What was I thinking putting that subject in that container? So let me tell you a story about how I managed to capture wildlife photography with a pre-production camera, with a minimal amount of zoom, without being able to leave home. So first of all, to address the biggest issue was a lack of zoom. I did not have a huge amount of it, so to get around that, I am having to shoot at the highest quality possible. I'm talking ISO 400 or lower, shutter speed 1000 or higher, and f-stop as bright as I possibly can, just so my image I've got at the end is as sharp and as clear as possible so I can crop in and zoom in later on to make up for that lack of zoom. Next, timing. So. I didn't know this when I started, but there's definitely more bird life, wildlife, at the sunrise and sunset, the beginning and the end of each day. So my first walk, I went out with Bonnie, and unfortunately she, leading the way, scared off most of the wildlife for me, so all I managed to get were a couple of cow photos. So I brought Bonnie home, gave her some breakfast, then went out again. This time I got a little bit more wildlife, some birds taken off from barns, etc., and it wasn't too bad. However, not quite enough for my liking. Take three, I went out, this is around 11 o'clock, and to be honest, I worked out by then that most bird life, wildlife, rabbit life, etc., is hiding from the heat come that middle of the day timing. However, one bird that doesn't hide is our family farm chicken, so I let that loose and took a bunch of photos of that as it roamed around the paddocks. In hindsight, if I knew wildlife was going to be a bit more limited to the start and the end of the day, I definitely should have gone out last night and tried to capture some more. However, at the end of it, I've got three photos. The first photo I want to show you is some birds taking off from a fence at sunrise with the sunlight breaking through just behind it. It is definitely more of a landscape image, but I still quite like it. The next image is a cow looking towards the sunrise. I like the kind of simplicity of this shot and, well, as far as cows goes, it's the closest I can get to wildlife on a farm. Next up is the chicken walking around the paddock. I love the detail in the shot, and for the middle of the day, the light was still quite enjoyable. And finally is the bird taking off from the barn. The, this is as close as I could actually get to freezing some fast action movement in place, and I do quite like the simplicity of it, that kind of natural wildlife versus the hard structure of man. There's a nice contrast to that. So of those four photos, photos one, two, three, and four, sunrise, the cow, the chicken, or the bird, which one do you like best? Let me know down in the comments below. I always appreciate you guys giving little votes to see which photos of these four, in this case, you think is best. Actually, as a bigger thank you, yesterday I hit 500 subscribers. It doesn't sound like much, but I really appreciate all the effort you guys are putting in to try and get a following along for me. It helps me get closer to doing this for a full-time living. If you have any questions about anything I'm doing or how I achieved any of these shots or what gear I'm using, let me know down in the comments below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions for you. If you can give me a like, share, and a subscribe, it would mean the world to me. And if you want to tune in tomorrow... Actually, sorry, if you're taking a challenge of your own or you want to try some of my challenges, feel free to hashtag your photos and hashtag TP photo challenge. I've been loving seeing all your work. And, sorry, if you want to tune in tomorrow, you can watch me try and take some photos of red. Now, nah, we're not doing red. That's too much like still life. We'll put it back in the, in the container. But we need something a bit more, a bit more variety. I mean, wildlife was different, but today I'd like something really different to what I've been doing in the past. So we're going to try and take photos of 